Hey, what is up, guys? And today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Eoshin Wizard TS130. Now, this is a 130 millimeter wheelbase quadcopter. It's a it's basically a three inch quadcopter, and uh, it's rocking 1507-4100 kV, which can run a 4S. However, I did not test the 4S because I don't have any small 4S LiPos. So what I was doing is just running it on a 3S. Now it doesn't come with any batteries and the version that I got was the plug and play and I've set up an XM Plus radio. Now they have the wires pre-made for you for an S bus uh, connection, not an I bus. I bus you're gonna have to find a different paddle on the flight control. Take that into consideration. Now it does also come with a VTX which is uh, 2550 or 2500 and 200 milliwatt selectable with smart audio or tramp, I forgot, but it does have a protocol which you can change the power output and the channel through the OSD, which is really nice. Flight controller is an F4 flight controller. This seems to, this seems to be like an AirBot stack here. It's an F4 flight controller with OSD, and the ESCs seem to be pretty good because it's such a big motor here that I'm not seeing any noise, especially with the amount of how strong the magnets here. As you can tell, it's very notchy here. The ESC is handling very well. I didn't have any noise in the video feed, which is something I really liked. Uh, camera, they're using a super proper camera. They're using the Foxier Arrow here. Now, I, I was I was actually amazed at how good this camera was because I was also the same day flying the Runcam Swift, and um, yeah, this thing wasn't, th there was no comparison, basically. I was actually wanting to reach out for this because I could see everything so good so that's something to take note of here now for the antennas on the xm plus as you can tell i didn't even stick the xm plus in there I just you know just put it in there and it's just held really well uh so that's how i have it it's above the vtx here there was no any there wasn't any issues with doing that and the antennas as you can tell here i routed them with a zip tie as you can tell the antenna comes in and these zip ties actually provide you with a bunch of zip ties in the package which is really nice uh of eashing to do such a thing uh so that's a huge plus and for propellers they even provide you with two sets of dowel props they give you the uh 30 50 56 tri-blade dowel props so two sets of these you get the blue ones and you get clear ones so that's also something really nice to have uh, as well in the package here for 130 bucks you're getting quite a lot here now for the power input as you can tell it takes xt30 which is most of these quadcopters usually take xt30 however my current 3s were jst so yeah you can easily replace this if you know what to do so this is not really a big deal but if you're curious it comes with an xt30 here and the overall frame is is really nice it's all carbon fiber there is nothing you know sandwiched in between like foam or anything and as you can tell here it has some kind of hydro dipping or hydroplating or whatever it's called uh they've painted it to kind of give it this camouflage blue camouflage uh, type theme going for even the you know the PCBs over here are even blue motors are blue propellers are blue so that's really nice they're kind of going on with the theme here now for the VTX antenna it's a dipolar antenna and it's connected via MMCX port which is really nice so you can replace that if you wanted to change it to something else however what you need to take note of is it doesn't come this stiff what I did was if you take a look here you have two holes on, on this frame here. And on one side, they have just the wire held into place. And then, you know, the, the dipolar is just hanging anywhere, easily fold down and cut. So what I did was I went to the other hole on the other side, got a zip tie, routed it straight up, as you can tell here, cut it to right there. This is the zip tie. And then just held them together and then just put a heat shrink. And then just uh, this will keep it away from the propellers, which is something you kind of want to do because if you rip this, uh, you don't want to keep flying because you can uh, basically burn your uh, VTX. So take that into consideration. Try to uh, have this mounted somewhere safely and very uh, stiff so it's not going to fall over and just get chopped by the uh, propellers here. But if you crash, that's a whole different story. But other than that, this should uh, do the trick and it did do the trick in a couple of crashes. Uh, overall, how does it perform? Its performance is not the fastest. I've only tested it on a 3S, and this is capable up to a 4S. It's not the fastest, and it's not the slowest, and it's not underpowered. It's right there in the middle. It's well balanced, nimble, efficient. Uh, not that if Oh, yeah, it's basically efficient, we can say. It's around 3 minutes, 3 minutes, 30 seconds on a 550 milliamp 3S Infinity Graphene LiPo. So it is somewhat efficient. You will have your usual three, three and a half minute of flight time. You could even have a little bit more depending on how you fly. If you cruise, I think you could hit around four minutes or so, possibly even five. Um, don't take my word for that just yet, but, but it's a possibility. Um, overall, I, I really did enjoy it. I did have quite a bit of fun with it and it was uh, really enjoyable. It was just really, really tameable, really calm, really soft and uh, very nice. However, at some times you can get mid throttle oscillations but the mid throttle oscillations are not from the ESC because there is no noise and it's running very cleanly. So it's a tuning issue because beta flight is completely 
just stock everything on this thing um but other than that it was really good just needs a small tuning session it's not that bad uh there's that little it's it's it is noticeable the oscillations but it's not the, to the point where you land and you feel your motors in they're hot the, the motors never got hot once so that was really nice that means it should be able to take the 4s absolutely perfect so we'll see how well that does once i receive my 4s lipos for such a thing all right guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and if I did help you make a purchase or avoid a purchase, please use the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I'm going to leave you guys with the FPV footage. Peace out.